Hey there, Kevin, the basic filmmaker here. First, I need to tell you to subscribe. I don't know why I need to tell you that. I mean, you watch these for free and for some reason I have to keep telling you to do that. You know, a simple button press is all I ask. Is that too much to ask for free? Sorry, lost my mind there for a minute. This is the Basic Filmmaker channel and there are a bunch of people out there who don't get all these fancy color correction and color grading terms and get stumped sometimes when things happen in their videos. This would be one of those things. Now, it may happen that you shoot some footage and then some more footage and you find out the colors in one don't really match the colors in the other. You can just let it ride, but I wanted to show you with a little effort how you can correct that so your video looks better. If you're a snazzy color fixin' ninja, this may also help you, but more importantly, for those who don't know how or don't even know they should match the colors, this will help. Yes, this is in Premiere Pro, but many other video editors have some sort of feature like this, and if they don't, they should. So have a watch, and let's see if you learn something useful or interesting. We're gonna be taking a look at this little dude hiding over here, the comparison view. Down here you have your timeline and up here is where you usually see your video playing. This is going to be a little bit different. Let's grab our flower shot here. Um, this is just a shot of, well, some slow-mo of flower. Somebody's dropping flower onto a table. Yeah, let's take this and let's make it a little shorter. This is a tutorial. I don't want you to sit through the whole thing. Now let's grab this other one, this awesome shot over here. Um, this flows into this thing, which I want to eat so bad, I just can't even tell you. Now look at the colors. They're all white and bright and shiny and nice and white. Now you look over here and it's kind of got this yellow casty looking thing and it's okay. Now we could go down here. We could uh, check into the Lumetri color. We could go into the Lumetri scopes. We could do all these fancy things that you may not know about. Well, let's not be scared and open Lumetri color. I just forget all this stuff. There's all sorts of stuff in here and we can go in and check in the HL, SL secondary and the color wheels and curves and do all this fancy stuff. But if you're new to this, you're going to get really confused really fast unless you've learned this or take a Dave Andre's course. More on that later. Go to color wheels and match. Just click on it. Disregard everything. Now look at this guy right here. This says comparison view and you click it. And on the right, that's what you're going to correct. And on the left, you're going to scrub through and find something that you want to match. So you can scrub down here. Oh yeah, look at that. There, oh, there it is. There it is. We want to take that kind of coloring and we want to add it to the right. In case you want to use this, uh, if you have like a 1600 little clips here, you can just, you're just going to scrub through them and you're just going to find one that you want to match up. So we like that. We want to match the up. Click to apply the match. And instantly, you get something better. Now, it ain't perfect, but you get something better. And if you don't know about all this and all the wheels and everything else, it's instantaneous. And go up to the basic color correction. And let's just take those blacks and crush them a little bit. Maybe we mess with the whites, whiten it up a little bit. Just play with these shadows a little bit. You don't even have to know what they do. You just move them back and forth until you get something that looks good. And I'm okay with that. Let's close that and get out of there. So we're kind of done. Now, was it perfect? No. But check this out. Let's grab this thing and we go along and see how it changes right there. Boom. Then we come back here. Uh, look, at the, look at that. It's not great, but let's go to the composite view. This is how you would normally edit. Now, let's go over to the effects controls and let's turn off what we did. Now, normally, look at that. The yellowy, icky, ooh, that's terrible when you're playing along and then boom, oh, you get this great shot and it's all white and lovely. Now let's go back here and turn on what we did. Bit of a change. Now we come along, we play, and there you are. It's just not as drastic, and it doesn't look like uh, so terrible, like, hey, you shot that on two cameras. It's just a lot lower pleasing. There's forward and backward, and let's turn it off again. And look at that, back, yellowy, forward. Let's turn on this uh, composite view. I mean, uh, excuse me, comparison view. You you can use this for all sorts of stuff, but look at that. Okay, here we are. We've got the yellowy thing. we got the bright thing on the left. Turn that back on. Boom! It's not that they're perfectly matched. It's that it's just not jarring from one color to another, which is cool. Let's go back to the composite view, and let's, uh, let's have a play. Here we go. 
we're going along, we've got our flour coming down as if we're implying something's going to be baked, and boom, we go into there. Hey, there's a ton of links in the description below where I have all sorts of stuff that I recommend. And uh, yeah, some of it's like pretty expensive. And if you buy that stuff, then I make millions of dollars and you get to go to work every day and I get to sit at home and not have to work and make millions of dollars. That was a joke. That's not what really happens. But there's stuff I recommend below. And I'm going to tell you again, uh, you need to subscribe or please subscribe or hit the subscribe button. You got to do that and hit the bell button, leave comments, do all that stuff everybody tells you to do. Oh yeah, at the end of the video, don't forget, there's, you know, my little silly little jokey thing. And uh, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And don't you just want to eat that thing? Look at that thing.